Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see an interesting SQL interview question. The question is, pivot the JSON data in relational format. We have an employee table which has two columns, ID and skills. The ID is in integer and the skill column is in JSON format. In the JSON key, we have different technology names and in the JSON value, we have the number of years of experience. For example, employee ID 1, he knows four technologies, Java, Azure, Spark and Python. He has two years of experience in Java, five years of experience in Azure, four years of experience in Spark and one year experience in Python. The employer 2 knows two technology, Java and Python. He has two years experience in Java and six years experience in Python. We have to populate the employee ID, technology and year in relational format. In this use case, we are considering only four technologies. These are Java, Azure, Spark and Python. I hope the question is clear. Now let's write the query to populate the data. Before we get into the implementation, let's understand the JSON table function in MySQL. JSON table function in MySQL is a powerful feature that allows you to transform the JSON data into relational table format. JSON table function accepts two arguments, JSON column and JSON path. In JSON column, we provide the column in which we have the JSON document. Then we provide the path in the JSON document to extract the data. Next, we will provide the list of columns that needs to be extracted. Column name is the output column on which you need to extract the data. Data type to cast the extracted JSON value and the specific path in the JSON object from which we can extract the data. At the end, we will specify an alias to reference the output. I hope the JSON table syntax is clear. Now let's get into the implementation. Here is our employee table which has two columns, ID and skills. In order to extract this JSON object, we will use JSON table function. First, we need to provide the column in which we have the JSON object. In our case, the column name is skills. Next, we need to provide the node in which we can extract the data. In our case, we are going to extract from the root node. So I am going to specify the dollar symbol. Now we are going to specify the columns that we are going to extract. Columns. The first column name, I'm going to name it as Park. It is of type integer because we have the experience in integer format. And the path, I need to get the value from the Spark key. So I'm going to specify as dollar, which is the root node dot Spark. Similarly, I'm going to specify the other columns. Java. Our key is also Java. So I'm going to mention it as dollar dot Java. The next technology is Python. The next technology is Azure. Let me close the parenthesis. I need to specify an alias for this table name as A. Let's run this query. The different technology names are populated in different columns and the corresponding experience is populated in rows. 
From this result, we only need the ID. We need only these columns a dot spark comma a dot java comma a dot python comma a dot azure let's run this query we got the list of technologies in different columns we have to populate this result in rows let's pivot this result in order to do this, I am going to create it as a CTE. Now we are going to pivot this column. We are going to select ID. Our first value is Park. I am going to name this column as Technology. Next, we are going to populate the year of experience. That we will get it from the column Spark. Similarly, we are going to pivot the other three columns. I am going to union the result. The second column is Java. The third column is Python. The fourth column is Azure. Let's run this query. We got the desired result, but we are getting nulls in our result. In order to remove the nulls, I am going to create it as a CTE. Let me select this table. We need only the records where the year is not null. And we are going to order the ID column in ascending. That's pretty much it. Now let's run the code. we got the desired result. I hope you like this video and I am sure that you learned something new today. If you do like this video, please consider to subscribe and I will see you in another interesting SQL interview question. Thank you.